Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, well, now we're in the tropical realm here. And uh, taking a look around, I noticed that I got stuck out here in the ocean out in the middle of nowhere. So, uh, yeah. I thought I was going to land on a nice tropical beach somewhere, but uh, we'll check it out. There's Marlin. Swimming around, a few of them. And uh, there's some corals and stuff that they're into the ocean. It's neat, they got them all lit up and everything. Uh, but, anyways, uh, this is a bamboo chest, and in there we've got an Encyclopedia Tropica book. Now, this book is really awesome. I mean, it's. Part of the mod, uh, it's just great. Uh, this book shows you all the different crafting things for this mod. It's just, it's absolutely wonderful to see this. There we go. So as we collect stuff, it gives us what we can do with it. So we remember we picked up bamboo. Now we can click on this and it'll tell us about the bamboo and then over here this anvil we can click on the anvil and it'll tell us or show us uh, what uh, we can build with it very very extremely useful for this mod anyways uh, now it's time to figure out how the heck we get over to a good spot to build on I guess we'll just swim here and hopefully run into something. Oh, cool. Look at that. Tropical fish swimming around. Oh, there are butterflies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm swimming with the fish. I'm swimming with the fish. All right. I don't want to get sidetracked or drowned here. Let's see where we are. What, did I just see a sea turtle swimming by? Oh, this mod is awesome. This mod is awesome. Alright. Let's find some land. Okay. I don't find any land here. I'll speed up the video here and of the swimming so that you don't have to watch the swimming. But at the same time, it's actually pretty cool to see what's swimming around here in the ocean. What's growing down there. Yeah, this is why the heck I should be coming up to some land somewhere. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is pause the game for a second, or pause the video, and uh, get ourselves to an island so you don't have to watch all this swimming activity. Alright, here we are, found some land, nothing like swimming for 15 minutes. They put me way out there. Alright, well, here where is where it gets crazy, I guess. Yeah, we're here in the dark. And then now you see what I'm talking about, about collecting some stuff before you get here, because you wind up here in the dark. And you know, I haven't seen any mobs yet. Uh to fight off, I'm wondering what my settings are. Oh, because it's peaceful. All right, back to the game. Now we are in. Now we could be in trouble if we don't have. Oh boy. All right, what do we got left? Do I have any? 
Okay, I've got my still have my torches. Let's put my, let's put some torches out so we don't get stuck. And uh, now it's going to be time to find time to find a house. But for right now, I guess we can dig here uh, just for a spot for overnight. We can put a build our put our bed down and. Get a good night's sleep here. Carve ourselves a little shoreline cave. We can put our stuff in here and our bed in here. Just a little small little spot. Nothing fancy. Oh, speaking of building and creating, I... Uh, I got a comment that said, why not build a, a uh, surfboard spot, spot to put surfboards and stuff. So I figured that would be a great idea. That's that's awesome. Didn't even think of that, but that's actually a pretty cool, a pretty cool deal. So yeah, so we're going to definitely do that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, now that the sun's coming up. Oh, everything's burning. All right, let's go out and collect some some goodies that we need. Uh, maybe we can use that other spot with the bed as our uh, spot to get ourselves some iron and get ourselves some good tools. And we'll just here and get some fruit off this these trees I see over here I see at least one fruit tree here yeah. lizards oh lizard hopefully we can get them oh we've got company we've got company oh, man they're getting they're getting crazy Fruit! Yes! Okay, we've got a fruit. We've got a piece of fruit. Let's see if we can get some more. That's alright. Alright, let's get some wood. We need some more wood. Not a lot of wood. Just a little bit. Just enough to get by. You know, for sticks and stuff like that that we need to build some more torches and things like that but uh, what I'd like to do is collect some bamboo and get ourselves a cool little house going ah all right and then these lizard guys are uh, if I don't die he swims underwater? Ah! Alright, I gotta get some air. Get some air, get some air, get some air. Ah. Crazy. Alright, those lizard guys, which seem to be pretty aggressive, uh, give you uh, scales. And you can craft your armor with those scales, and it's actually uh, pretty cool, I think. It has a fire protection to it, I believe so. Not for certain. Comment if you uh, if you know for sure. Um, but anyways, let's go get some of this uh, bamboo over here, and we'll get started with our crafting adventure. And I definitely need to put that bed down and sleep overnight so that. Uh, we save our spot here. I don't want to forget where it's at either. And go ahead and collect this stuff. Bamboo a plenty. Bamboo a plenty. Here we go. And I want to keep some of it still growing because it does grow back. Like I said before, this is the staple of this tropical realm. 
is this bamboo because you're you're gonna use a lot of it, especially if that's if you want to build like a you know bamboo house you know, over the water and stuff like that. So good idea to have that. Where did I see those cows? Because that could use some, could definitely use some meat material. And could definitely use some fruit. Let's see, do I have, where's my axe? I thought I had an axe, maybe not. Well, you know what? Let's get some, uh, you know, I might as well finish this. I hate leaving trees halfway undone, halfway cut down and floating in the air, so. Can never not have enough wood, that's for sure. Got a little, little f lag there for a moment. All right, all right. So I got an idea. Let's go back to where our bed was, and let's uh, let's uh, uh, sleep. All right, let's dig out some some good ores that we we can use. And oh, there's those cows. Oh boy, spider! My sword is almost dead too. Dang it! All right, hopefully they don't like to swim. Those spiders don't like to swim. Did I already forget where I landed? Oh, there's the torches right over there. All right, all right. No, well, for right now. I don't want to kill all these cows, but I definitely, steaks are definitely a must have. Oh, of course. One whack on the sword and it's over. Alright. Well, we'll just build another sword. Hey, cow. Don't push me off the island. Come on now. I know, I know. Nothing like watching me sharpen the axe before you get it. Alright. Hold tight. It'll be over soon. It'll be over soon. Don't you worry. Alright. I don't know what cow I hit earlier. Get that. Certainly. Alright. Yeah, that was that guy gave me three steaks. Dang. Alright. Alright. Oh. Steaks a plenty. over to our little dig out over here now what we can do is start to dig down in here and get ourselves some useful stuff you know what let's uh let's dig out a little bit more here we can put a crafting table down here. Our crafting table will be our headboard. How about that? There we go. No, oh, there's always pineapple chunks to eat, I guess. Alright. That looks good. Alright, let's uh let's dig here. Get ourselves some stable tools the the hardest thing is trying to find the stuff to make a map um, that's the one thing is getting the redstone to build the compass and then you know the paper and all that's easy because it 
that, that the sugar cane grows here to do that but uh, trying to get that redstone has been uh, an issue of mine notice that we're not even getting any sort of any sort of stuff to use down here alright well let's just leave this I mean that's slow and tedious and boring to watch so let's go ahead and let's create a chest to put some stuff in now you you can build a regular chest like you would in the vanilla with the wood or you can build it with bamboo and get that and get a bamboo chest I like the bamboo chest because they're actually pretty cool looking I like them there we go here's our bamboo chest and uh, we'll just put that over here we can store some stuff in there I don't want to lose my book or my meat ah, does that shift work oh yeah it does okay there we go all right let's put all this away what we don't need right away our cup all right that's good let's get ourselves a get ourselves a stove here all right now we're in business all right where the heck is this stove gonna go you know what let's put it right here perfect all right well let's create a tool that's gonna work faster for us for digging and let's see if we can dig a little faster and get ourselves some coal if not I guess we can just use the wood to I hate using the wood but what are you gonna do gotta do something all right got a couple torches left it's always good to have some torches on hand all right so we're gonna build a surfboard hut and uh, definitely gonna do that gotta build a house I'd like to build like a little tiki bar on the side of the beach that would be awesome so we'll do that and uh, we got a lot of stuff and of course we've got to go out and venture out and check with the islanders and you know we can trade with them if we got something to build or something that we have that they want we can trade with them they can get something from them we should create a fishing pole we're not having much luck down here. We'll probably have to venture out and find a find a better spot with some good resources in it. Because we're pretty far down and we haven't re even gotten a coal yet. So Alright, well let's good, it's nighttime. Let's go ahead and close up our it's going to close up our house here, our little, well, I don't even call it a house, but I'm going to sleep for a second. <sighs> All right, so we're going to stop here. Next episode, I think we'll start working on our house, maybe possibly the, uh, the surfboard spot. But uh, until then... Keep the cold drink in your hand, and we'll see you next time. And don't forget your flip-flops. Bye!